everybody, welcome back to Keto Rewind. <laughs> Thanks for clicking on today's video. I have a short and sweet video for you today. As you can see, I am at the lake. Um, we come up here every summer. My parents live next door. It's a chance to be together in one state <laughs> um, with family and all that fun. Like my in-laws will be showing up in a couple of days. It's just that time where our family gets together once a year. So um, we are here at the lake um, for summer. And then I'm also back from Vegas. Our trip to Vegas was so fun. Um, it took a couple days to get resettled because I feel like we were tra time traveling. Um, Texas is central time. Then we went to New Hampshire, where I am now, to drop my kids off for, par for babysitting. And then my husband and I hopped on a plane in Boston and went to Vegas for a week. And then <laughs> flew back to Boston, drove back up to the lake here in New Hampshire. And my body's just been time traveling. So <laughs> it has been a little difficult to get adjusted to the time zones, but I'm settled, I'm rested. You know, anytime you come back from a vacation that's fun and exciting, you feel that rested way anyways, right? So here we are. So today's video is gonna be short and sweet. I don't have anything crazy for you yet. I wanted to go over the plan for the summer. Um, for my personal goals, um, as you know, I've been on a weight loss journey for quite some time now. And summers are always in the past so challenging. Um, everybody's usually on vacation. They're in that mode where you just want to just let loose. And that has always been something that I've stumbled on in the past. So I thought we'd talk about how I'm going to navigate that this summer. And also I'll talk about a few things I'd thought about or learned on my trip that I thought is pretty relevant to a weight loss journey. But before I jump into that, I do wanna say I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a healthcare professional. I've just on, been on this weight loss journey fighting obesity for like over five years now. So I'm definitely not an expert. I'm just an expert in my own story. So, and that's what I'm here to share with you guys. So if you like that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those not notifications so you don't miss any videos, especially now that I'm not in a more rigid uh, uploading schedule. I'm gonna get these videos up as I can. So if you hit that notification bell, it'll let you know when I post a video. And don't forget, being a subscriber is shows me your support and you want to see more of this content. So with that said, let's get this video started. And real quick, before I get any further, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Jem. <laughs> I don't know if the camera wants to zoom in on that. Jem believes in eating your nutrients the way nature intended to. Each delicious daily bite contains over 20 plus vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and prebiotics. So I know what you're thinking. Why take your vitamins in the form of a food and not just swallow a pill? Well, personally for me, multivitamins tear my stomach up. I only can eat them at night so I don't feel nauseous and gross. Um, Gem does not hurt my stomach. So the, the first reason that really got me to fall in love with Gem is the fact that I could just take them whenever. And plus 90% of Americans are nutrient deficient. And that means we're not getting all the vitamins and minerals and everything we need because our food is over farmed, over processed, it's old, you know, it's just, it's not what it's supposed to be. That's where Gem comes in. In one delicious daily bite, you're gonna fill those nutrient gaps. And speaking of the Gem bite, it is delicious and tasty. I, and it's way more fun personally for me to eat something than to swallow a pill. So if it tastes really good, you're gonna be more willing to take it every day so that you stay consistent, so that you see the results and you can definitely see the changes in your body. So I've been taking Gem now for five weeks-ish. I even took them on vacation to me to Vegas because it is important to me to stay consistent, to keep up with my routine. Um, also because I was not gonna be eating my best while I was in Vegas and these helped my gut health going strong. <laughs> And being that I brought these on vacation with me, I continued taking them and I did feel like my stomach was less grumbly. And being that I was around so many people, I felt like these helped keep my immunity going strong and my, my gut health going strong. And it was easy to keep taking these because they taste so good. <laughs> so right now, if you'd like to try the Gem Bite, you can use my link down below in the description box and get 50% off your first month. So all you have to do is go to dailygem.com forward slash keto rewind and use coupon code keto rewind at checkout. Thanks, Jim, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the rest of the show. Alrighty, so vacation has officially started, but being that we live here for six weeks, it's kind of like not vacation for me. So there's like no excuse to like go off the rails for six weeks. It is still time, there's still plenty of time to keep my 
my weight loss goals going through the summer. So I thought the first thing I've done in the past where I went wrong <laughs> was I packed everything stretchy like leggings and swimsuits and stretchy shorts and you know flowy dresses things like that which in a one week long vacation great idea in six weeks that's not a good idea and that's because when you're wearing something stretchy it's forgivable if you eat too much and for me when i'm eating too much consistently um that means weight gain right so this time around when i was in texas packing to come up here i bought brought mostly non-stretchy items. I have a few like this. This is one of my Amazon outfits that I forgot to share. Like the clip didn't make it into my video, but it's like, uh, I'll put a, uh, a link here, but it's got pockets. It's got shorts underneath. It's really cute. Um, and I wore it a lot in Vegas, but being that it's so stretchy, it's super forgivable if I choose to overeat. So I, yes, I grabbed a couple of these for my Vegas trip. The bulk majority of the clothes that I packed are denim <laughs> and denim that doesn't have stretch so with that said uh the reasoning for that is just to give me a reminder that my clothes fit and i'm not going to go buy clothes if i overeat and i overindulge i drink too much you know like all those things that you kind of get caught up in the in the vacation mode so i thought if i packed jeans jean shorts you know shirts that didn't have tons of give it would remind me I'm not here to go hog. I'm here because I still have goals that need, to, that need to be reached and we're not gonna go reverse and have to re-lose weight again because I've been on this mode since October of 2023 now that I'm, I'm going forward and I'm getting to my goal weight. I've been driven, I've been walking so much, I've been doing all those things, drinking my water, you know, eating the best I can, you know, very low carb on the keto spectrum. So I don't wanna undo all that work, in a summer you know and you can if you're like me i can gain weight so freaking fast the minute i go back to the standard american diet you know I, I it's like it comes on so fast so i have just got to be smart and have these little reminders tucked away to help me stay focused so one of the first things i did or my tip for you would be pack denim <laughs> pack things that don't have give so that when you're eating and your pants are tight, you're okay, put the fork down. We don't have to eat all of the things. You know, like you already had dinner, you don't need dessert too, or you don't need that nightcap, you know, like that kind of thing. So that little psychological thing I did has been working so far. And that one other thing I did was, while I was in Vegas, we did, we had a rental car for one day and that's because we were gonna drive to the Hoover Dam and um, out in the, uh, what is that, uh, the Ring of, the Ring of Fire, Valley of Fire, I think it was. It was way out in the boonies, right? And it was beautiful country out there. So we couldn't walk there. That was an over a car, an hour or so car ride so from our hotel. So, but while we were on the strip, for the bulk of the trip, we did not have a rental car. So that meant steps, getting those steps in. And I logged in like 20,000 steps a day while I was on vacation. So yes, I didn't eat my best because I was on vacation and I did live a little for five days, six days, but I got so many steps in, it leveled out, it balanced out, you know? So walking and I drank so much water, it was hot out there. So we did need to stay hydrated. Um, so I just drank a lot of water and then I did be able, it did counteract being able to be a little bit, you know, wild and have some vacation fun, but with the food and, you know, the stuff that's out there, the touristy things but I managed to walk 20,000 steps on average for six days in a row. So I didn't just sit around, you know? So it felt good to keep moving. And had I not been on such a mission to get my steps in every day since past, the past October, I mean, I feel like I don't know if I could have put 20,000 steps in. Like I, my, I was actually tired at the end of the day. I could sleep great. I was worn out, you know? I didn't do that because I drank too much. You know, that, that it was like a combination of things. So I was super proud of my husband and I for, and our friends that we went with for just getting our steps in and not renting a car. It'd been so much easier to, you know, rent a car and go all these places, but it was so much more beneficial to get those steps in and walk there. So if I went and had dessert, no big deal. I was walking home. You know, like it was just cool to to see that change in me because I feel like that's what healthy people do. 
They walk everywhere. They don't take the easy bus or, you know, the, I mean, there were a couple of people in our, in our group that we went with that took the bus everywhere and we're like, yeah, we'll meet you there. And I worked for them, you know, but for me, I felt so good and empowered because I walked there instead and then walked back to the hotel. You know, it was just that, that psychological, I felt good. I got those steps in and I allowed myself to eat a little without gaining a bunch of weight. So that was like a huge win, a non-scale victory win, if you will, and it was powerful. So the second thing is that get those steps in, keep moving. So I'm translating that here at the lake because I have a beautiful lake that I live on here in New Hampshire. And my kids surprised the heck out of me. I was like, I'm gonna go for a walk, you know, and you know, I'll go do that and I'll be right back. Both of my girls were like, I wanna walk with you. And I'm like, what? My kids wanna go for a walk with me. But then I was like, oh my God, they know mommy goes for walks all the time. You know, it was just something like they were kind of bored and they hadn't ever walked around the lake. I mean, they swim in the lake every day, but they've never walked around it and chosen to do it for fun. So granted, my walk time was a lot longer than I normally do because my kids are with me and they get distracted and they want to put their feet in the lake and, you know, take some pictures. So, but it was all so good because I, 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 I was an example for my girls of this is what mommy does. This is part of the day. It's nothing crazy. Mommy just gets a walk in and then she takes on the rest of, of her day. And the fact that they wanted to join me helped put that value into them. And along the lines, with my girls are so active with sports, um, with all of the activities that they do, they are actually stir crazy if, if they sit in a chair. They just can't. They've got so much energy so that it was kind of like they needed to get it out and didn't know why so it was like a good reason to come along with me so it just took some of that off of them and they they were running up and down the hills while i'm walking in the because we live in a mountain road so they're just running up and down doing extra when you know just sticking around with me and getting their steps in too and burning it off so it was really cool to see that full circle to see that motivation for me to keep doing what i'm doing because i'm giving my my girls a great example you know, and obviously it, it was fun because we could, it was just something that we could do together, which we normally don't do together. It's usually me watching them in sports or teaching them in sports. And, you know, but this is the first time they joined me and did what mommy wanted to do. So, and they loved it. So now they're like, well, we're going to walk with you every day. So that is a total, so that is a total mom win. And I'm going to ride that one for a while. <laughs> so, so the, the second thing is get the steps in, period. The third thing is just because it's vacation doesn't mean you stay in vacation forever. You know, like you cut it off. Like, so I was in Vegas for six days. I didn't really care what I ate out there. We did what we did. We actually did OMAD. So I did one meal a day out there because it was a big meal. Um, so, but it was like, it kind of, it kind of just helped just so I didn't overdo it. Right. So here we're just going to stick with low carb and keto and continue on. So I did decide to lim limit myself to one drink of alcohol per week. So I'll pick a day in the weekend and I'll have my drink and I'll have whatever I want, you know, but that means all week I got to get my steps in. I got to drink my water. I got to make sure I'm doing low carb and keto meal planning. And when I go to the store, I got to make sure I fill my cart with all the good stuff and I don't bring the crap here because it's a hour round trip from our house to the grocery store. We are out in the woods, in the mountains, you know, we're far from civilization. So if you forget ketchup, well, you're screwed because no one's going to go. It takes an hour just to get there and back, you know? So like when I do my meal planning, I got to be smart and I got to, and I got to not buy things that they have here that will be temptation. So it's one of those things where I'm going to just have to keep planning and be on top of things and just using my head. Because if I want my goal, goals only work if you do, right? So I want to be down maybe five more pounds, which would be a lofty weight loss goal. By the time I go home, when school starts with my girls, if I could drop five pounds by then, I will be over the moon excited. Every year I come here, I gain 10, 20 pounds, you know, like, cause I'm off the rails. I'm partying it up and I'm doing all the things of letting all that temptation get the better of me and use those as, as my excuses this year. No, I have, I have, it was amazing to walk all through Vegas in new clothes because I lost so much weight. I'm down, uh, I forget what it is. It, I, forgive me. It's 30 something pounds since I started this huge new routine to re-get to my goal. And I think I had 40, 
44 or 45 pounds until I get to my goal weight. So I'm like, if I can pull five more pounds off by the time I get down there, I am that much closer to my goal weight. So, but if I go hog, I start that, that roller coaster again of the ups and the downs and it's not worth it. I'm tired of losing that same five pounds over and over again and regaining and losing. And you know, I don't want that anymore. I want to lose it and I want to keep going and no more gaining. So here I am <laughs> making that accountability post to you guys is I am going to be much more effective this summer than I have ever been. And that's because I have different goals and I have way more determination than ever. And I feel like the routine that I've really set up where I am drinking my water all the time, I'm drinking my water, this 40 ounce thing, I'm filling it up constantly with my well water that tastes so freaking delicious. Uh, and I'm eating my low carb, high protein keto foods and I'm walking and moving and I'm getting joy from other areas in my life than food, right? So that is the plan for the summer. You are going on vacation, make that plan. And if you take that vacation, go ahead and have fun. But remember when that vacation's over, you, you shut that door and you go back to, you know, the healthy way. And, you know, cause don't feel like you can't. And like, it's one of the things that I do is if I get too restricted or I cut so much stuff out, that it makes me want things too much. And then that was like kind of the, where I went wrong in the first place on my journey when I'd lost 130 pounds. I got so restrictive that I took all the fun away. And then when I let a little fun in, it, it yo-yoed and I ballooned back up and I gained what, 70 pounds of that 140 back. So, and I don't want to do that anymore. You know, so I, there's a, there's a balance, a delicate balance. And, and it's called moderation. It's called, it's called being self-disciplined. And that's what I'm working hard on this time because it, it at the end of the day, that self-discipline is gonna go leaps and bounds and making sure that the lifestyle that I create right now isn't just gonna be for weight loss. It's the lifestyle that I'm gonna use, the blueprint that I'm gonna use to maintain the weight long after I've stopped losing it, you know, and I've hit my goal. So I hope that makes sense. And I, I will see you at the next one. And we will have a new monthly challenge for the month of July. I just haven't thought of it yet, but it'll be along those lines. So thanks for watching. And if you want to check out Gem, use my link down below and you can get 50% off your first month. And I will see you at the next one. I'm Jess, you're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye.